In this video, we will be uh, looking into the Epsilon NFA and converting it into DFA by using the Thomson's construction method. So firstly, understanding what Epsilon is. So Epsilon refers to the change in one state to another without reading an input signal. So if the transition happens from one state to another in an NFA without reading the input signal, it could be referred as Epsilon NFA. It is also called as null NFA or NFA lambda. So coming to the question here, they have given us the transition diagram of epsilon NFA. So our first step would be to draw the transition table for NFA. That is epsilon NFA, sorry. So let's draw the epsilon NFA. Epsilon 0 and 1. Here in this transition diagram, we can see that the sigma values comprise of 0 and 1. So here let's draw the table. State Q0 being the start state, Q1, Q2 being one of the final states, Q3, Q4 being another final state and Q5 being one more final state. Now let's start filling the values. Q0 on epsilon gives Q1, Q0 on 0 gives Q0 on 0 gives 5, there's not no 0 here and Q0 on 1 gives Q0 and Q1 and Q0 on 1 gives Q0 and Q3, Q0 and Q3. Similarly, Q1 on epsilon gives Q3, here Q2 and here 5. Q2 on epsilon gives nothing, Q3 on epsilon gives nothing, Q4 on epsilon gives Q5 and Q2 and Q5 on epsilon gives 5. Q2 on 0 gives 5, Q3 on 0 gives Q4 and Q4 on epsilon gives Q4 on 0 gives nothing there's nothing here so 5 and Q5 on 0 gives Q5 on 0 gives Q4 itself so here uh, Q2 on 1 Q2 on 1 gives Q5 Q3 on 1 gives nothing Q4 on 1 gives Q1 and Q5 on uh, 1 there's nothing as such so 5 our next step would be to find the epsilon closure of all the states. So epsilon closure of Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Q5. What comprise of the same state first? Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 and Q5. Now check if um, epsilon closure of Q0 exists or not. Yes, Q1 is there. So Q0, comma Q1. And is there uh, any other state from Q1? Yes, Q3 is there. So let's write Q3 also here. From Q3, no, there's nothing. Epsilon closure of Q1, yes, Q on Q1, it's Q3. From Q3, there's nothing. On Q2, there's nothing. On Q3, there's nothing. On Q4, it goes to Q5. And it goes to Q2 also. So Q5 and Q2, right? So yes. And on Q5, there's nothing so, just Q5 itself. So our next step would be to take the start state that is Q0 and find its epsilon closure of Q0 that is Q0, Q1 and Q3 
will take it as constant a so here we have taken a start state we have taken the start state and our next step is to uh, find the epsilon closure of that so epsilon closure of q0 will give q0 q1 q3 will take it as constant a now our next step would be to find constant uh, transition of constant a on 0 and transition of constant a on 1 so a on 0 a comprises of q0 q1 and q3 q0 q1 and q3 so transition of a on 0 q1 q3 and 5 5 so it will be transition of 0 so it will be q2 and q4 and similarly a on 1 q0 q1 and q3 on 1 so it will be q0 q3 and q5 no it will be q0 q3 just q0 and q3 now our next step would be to find epsilon closure of q2 and q4 and epsilon closure of q0 and q3 so epsilon closure of q2 and q4 q2 is q2 and q4 is q4 q5 q2 so it will be q4 q5 and q2 itself then we have q0 and q3 q0 and q3 q3 is q3 q0 q0 q1 q3 so it will be q0 q1 and q3 itself so q4 q5 q2 let's take it as constant b and q0 q1 q3 it's similar to constant a right so let's write a here so our, so our next step is to take uh, the next constant that is b b is equal to q4 q5 and q2 let's put it in a square box and we have to find transition of b over 0 and transition of b over 1 so q4 q5 q2 q4 q5 and q2 transition over 0 these two is 4 and here it's 5 so q4 only and b on 1 so q1 5 and q5 so it will be q1 and q5 now finding epsilon closure of these values epsilon closure of q4 epsilon closure of q4 gives q4 q5 and q2 and epsilon closure of q1 q5 gives q1 and q5 gives q1 q3 and q5 q1 q3 and q5 so let's take this is similar to b right q4 q5 q2 but this let's take this as constant c our next step would be to take the constant c now so c is equal to q1 q3 and q5 so transition of c over 0 transition of c over 1 q1 q3 q5 so over 0 q1 q3 q5 over 0 gives q2 q2 q4 and q4 so it will be q2 comma q4 and c comma 1 you get 5 5 and 5 or dash just dash so finding epsilon closure of this q2 and q4 epsilon closure of q2 is q2 and q4 is q4 q5 q2 this is similar to b constant b right so let's write b here so we have to uh, repeatedly do this particular step until we uh, find the transition states of all the constants so once we find transition state of all the constants our next step would be to draw the transition table for dfa so step 4 is to draw the transition table for dfa so here we have transition of dfa over 0 and 1 and the constants are a b and c a is there in uh, q naught is the start state right and um, q naught is present in a so it will be the start state and 
um, Q2, Q4, Q5 are the final states. So they are present in B and C. So let's put stars here to uh, represent the final states. Next, transition of A over 0 is B and A over 1 is A itself. Transition of B on 0 is B and B on 1 is C. C on 0 is B and C on 1 is there is nothing here so let's put T here. So now that we have obtained the transition table our next step would be to draw the transition diagram for DFA. So this step is pretty easy. So we will take A as the start state. B is one of the end state, C is another end state and T is the constant or the trap state sorry. A over 0 gives B and A over 1 gives A itself. B on 0 gives B and B on 1 gives C. C on 0 gives B, C on 1 gives T and for trap state it's always the self loop. So here we have found out the tra transition diagram. So if required you can also define the next step as MDFA is equal to Q epsilon transition function Q0 and F where q, q could be the states like q0, q1 till q5 and sigma could be 0, 0,1 and transition function you have defined it. So q0 being the start state here let's write it as a and then b as f as b, c as the stop state. Or you can write the expansion of A and B and C also. So it's absolutely fine. Uh, I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you.